Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've never filmed a video like this before, but I'm filming a, a meal prep video. I'm just showing you guys how I prepare for the week ahead. I'm doing all of my cooking. I recorded this on a Saturday. I'm doing all of my cooking in one day and then for the week ahead, I don't have to do any cooking whatsoever. Even if you guys don't want to meal prep, maybe this just will give you some recipes or even some motivation to start meal prepping. Um, it's not only for a family, but we are a family of four, growing to be a family of five. Um, I found while pregnant this has been helping me a lot because I'm just so exhausted by the time dinner comes that I don't want to <laughs> even think about making dinner. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you end up making any of these recipes, be sure to tag me on Instagram or let me know how they came out. Alright, so a lot of these recipes are going to be crock pot recipes. I love crock pot recipes because they're super easy. Also, if you're going to be doing this, you need to buy these oven bag liners for the crock pot um, so that it's super easy to clean it all up and stir it up. This is a really tiny crock pot. This is my mom's crock pot. Um, if you guys have been following us, we've been staying with my mom and she does not cook whatsoever. She's never cooked dinners growing up. So you'll see I'm going to be using a lot of tin foil and things just because she lacks the cooking supplies. I know it's bad to cook with tin foil, but I'm just making with do with what we have right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be making today is a cheesy broccoli chicken. I love making this because it literally takes two seconds to prepare it. So you just need a cup of water. Um, you can have three to four chicken breasts or however large your family size is. Um, one thing of cream cheese, Italian seasoning, um, mild cheddar cheese. I get the craft kind because it's really good. And then just a bag of broccoli. You can also use fresh broccoli, but like I said, I'm trying to make it just really quick, simple, and easy. Thinking about what's mine, nothing to deny. Who's that other guy? Are you wasting my time? All these crazy fears that ends with bloody tears. Oh baby, we keep prepping long nights Rock your body whole life Don't bother the world side Twerk it like a Vegas trip A dollar money stage And you're just gonna let that cook on high for 4 hours And 20 minutes before turning it off You're gonna put in the broccoli and the cheese Okay, the next meal that we are going to be prepping Is going to be a potato cheese soup um, So, once again, you're gonna have your cheese some garlic, one yellow onion, potatoes, and two things of chicken broth, and also one block of cream cheese. This you can make in the crock pot, we're gonna, but we're gonna make it on the stove today because we're already doing so many crock pot meals. going to cook in the pot um, is your yellow onion. I ended up only doing half of an onion because I'm not a huge onion fan but if you guys are onion lovers go ahead and do the whole onion um, and then three tablespoons of garlic. Here I'm just showing you how small I chopped up the potatoes um, but beware they do get even smaller as they're heated up so just cut them the size that you wish to eat them. One thing you didn't see me add in this clip is seasoning, but you guys are going to want to add a lot of seasoning to this because you don't want the soup to taste bland. So whatever seasoning you usually use, like salt, pepper, garlic, you're just going to keep adding it to taste. And then you're going to add your 
um, two blocks of cream cheese and I usually wait to add the cheese until the end when it starts to look more like a soup. Um, I know it looks really bad right now, but in the end, it actually turned out to be one of the best meals on here. Okay, so while everything is cooking, I'm going to be baking next um, apple cinnamon oat cups. My kids really like these. They usually eat them for breakfast in the morning or usually just a snack, but they go super, super fast. So what you need are some regular oats, two eggs, um, one tablespoon of vanilla, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. Honestly, I just eyeball it. <laughs> because we really like cinnamon, so I usually add a little bit more cinnamon than it says to, and one-fourth of salt, half a cup of maple syrup, um, one whole cup of whole, whole milk, two apples, you're gonna peel them and chop them up, one teaspoon of baking powder. And you're just going to add everything into one bowl and mix it. I don't know if I mentioned before, but you're actually gonna use three cups of oats. Unlike most things when you're baking, these actually don't tend to rise, so don't be scared to fill them almost to the top. And then when you're all set, you're going to bake them at 350 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to make while the oven is already preheated to 350 is I bought two of these little mini make your own pizzas Mason loves pizza actually both my boys love pizza and this is a really good lunch alternative for them I even cut these up save them put them in the fridge and send them to school with Mason um, Or you could just do one huge one. They make them in huge combinations, but they also have this sauce that um, Is usually next to it in the store. That's pretty good. And then I just put some cheese on You'll notice that um, we won't put a lot of cheese on because Mason's not a huge cheese fan. He just takes the cheese off most of it usually. Um, but yeah, I love making these because they're so easy and so convenient if you have kids. So as you can see, this kind of ended up being a family thing and everyone started helping me make the pizza. Maddox was taking a nap, but I also love making these for that reason too. Mason really enjoys making these. Um, I can even sit him at the table and he'll make the whole thing himself. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but my kids eat a ton of fruit. They have fruit every single day. They just love it. Um, so you'll see me washing and cutting up all of the fruit beforehand. In this next clip, you'll see me actually sitting down because um, ever since, I don't know, last week, I've been having the worst sciatica pain. I didn't have these pains when I was pregnant with the boys so this is new to me um if you guys have had these pains before leave down in the comments what you did to relieve them um because i cannot stand for long periods of time without just having the worst pain in my hips and butt area but yeah i totally love cutting up the fruit beforehand because when they ask for it it's already there it's already cut up um rather than having to cut up their fruit every time they ask for it So the muffins and the pizza cook pretty fast. Um, take note that there was a lot of cinnamon in the muffins, so that's why they tend to look darker. They're not burnt, they're just full of cinnamon. Okay guys, so next I'm going to be making more muffins, um, specifically for the boys, but we all like them. These are protein banana chocolate chip muffins. So you're gonna need two bananas. I hate looking at the bananas like that. I know they look gross, but the riper the better, just like the same for banana bread. Um, one cup of peanut butter, two eggs. You're gonna do one, you're gonna do half of a cup 
of mini chocolate chips but honestly I always do more than that because I'm we love chocolate one tablespoon of vanilla extract a pinch of salt one fourth honey so we add protein powder to them for the boys because especially Mason he does not eat enough protein so you're just gonna do four tablespoons of protein powder it doesn't have to be this specific kind this is just what Raheem has um, and then you're gonna do one teaspoon of bacon powder once you have all your ingredients in the bowl you're gonna do the same thing and preheat the oven to 350 and then mix it all together and put it in a cupcake pan next up we are going to make chicken noodle soup I know I've been this is my second soup that I'm making today but it is November going on December tomorrow so it's all about the comfort foods this month um, you need a package of chicken rice this is brown rice um, and I might even add an, another bag of rice depending on how it looks um, I'm gonna cook the chicken in this Goya I can't even think right now whatever it's called <laughs> two boxes of chicken broth some carrots some celery I'm probably gonna use about three pieces of celery some corn um, some bay leaves adobo and I'll also use salt and pepper and just season to taste but first thing I'm going to do is boil the chicken all right so Rahim is helping me right now he's shredding chicken you're gonna let you're gonna let your chicken boil and then shred it like this and you're gonna keep the water in there that you cook the chicken in and then you're gonna add all of your vegetables and the broth and all the ingredients I told you guys about and you're just gonna let it cook for a couple hours no. <laughs> This is the very last recipe that I have on here and I have to say it's actually my favorite. It was my first time making it and it came out so good. It's a chicken chili cheese dip. <laughs> and um, so what you need, I'm showing you everything that you need and I don't have any measurements for you. Um, but after you boil the chicken, you're basically going to put the chili powder on it and all of the rest of the spices that I have. So the ground cumin, the minced onion, the red pepper, the salt, the pepper, um, and kind of just season it. Not too much because you don't want it to be salty. Um, and then you're going to pour the salsa on top of it and the cream cheese, but you're not going to mix it. You're just going to bake it like that and not mix it until you're done cooking it. But you'll see the steps that I have ahead. Thinking about what's mine, nothing to deny. Who's that other guy? Are you wasting my time? All these crazy fears that ends with bloody tears. Oh baby, we keep prepping long nights Rock your body whole life Don't bother the world side Twerk it like a Vegas strip A dollar money stage mine Billions in the cage fight Fuck the thoughts and get high And get high It's all about the mind We'll be doing fine Living on the edge Sometimes alright Fame is how we ride Life is all about time Okay guys, so now that we are at the end, I will go ahead and put in a clip of each recipe now that it is all cooked and done. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I hope I was able to give you guys some recipes or some motivation to start meal prepping for the weeks ahead for yourself or your family or even just some dinner recipes if you don't want to meal prep. If you guys end up making any of these recipes, be sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat. I would love to know how they turned out or even if I just give you, gave you some of your own motivation to make different recipes than this, I would still love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching if you came this far and I will be sure to see you in the next video. Bye.